guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really quick and easy dishcloth. I love this dishcloth because it's rough on one side and it's soft on the other side and it's very delicate so it won't wreck your fine china or your teflon surfaces. So everything for this project you can actually pick up over at the dollar store. All the links for everything you need for this project will also be at my blog, which is Charmed by Ashley. And if you're not already, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All those links are down below. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is a closer look. For this project, there are literally no measurements because you can make them as small or as big as you want. I grabbed some burlap. This one is actually from Walmart, but you can get it from the dollar store. I have seen rolls of burlap at the dollar store. And then I'm also using microfiber cloths, and I also got those at the dollar store. They're like three for a dollar, which is super cheap. So you could make this the size of an actual dishcloth if you want to, or you can make it smaller like a sponge size. So for this tutorial, I will be making a sponge size and I will be using a product called Zorb. Um, it absorbs 10 times the amount of liquid. It is found in baby cloth diaper inserts. You could use fleece as well. I'm going to stack it with the Zorb on the bottom, the microfiber cloth, and then my burlap on top. And then I will sew all the way around leaving a one inch gap. Then I'm going to snip the corners. And remember, if you don't have Zorb or you don't want to use Zorb, that's totally cool. You can make it into a dish cloth size, nice and big, and you don't even have to have that. And it works just as a regular cloth would. So I'm going to turn it right side out and I'm going to use a stick to just poke out the corners. And then I'm going to fold in the edges of that hole. And then I'll do a top stitch around it to secure that hole. And then I did another top stitch, a smaller one inside. You don't have to do this if you're omitting the Zorb, but if you want to make sure that your centers doesn't move, like if you do have Zorb or fleece inside and you don't want it to shift, just for extra security, you can do another. And it also looks kind of cool too. So once you've done that last top stitch, then you're done. I think it turned out super cute, so easy. You can give them as gifts, just make a ton of them to have on hand, and you can color code each one, say the yellow stay in the bathroom and the pink stay in the kitchen. So if you enjoyed the tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social media. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, if you're new here, I do have free and paid patterns posted over at my crafts and also my Etsy shop so check those links down below I have all my sewing patterns on sale over at my Etsy shop for 10% off right now so definitely take advantage of that and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram I post lots of personal and photos of what I'm working on thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time